Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a, a stencil using hot glue. Um, what you're going to need is, uh, you obviously need a hot glue gun, and just remember that this is hot, okay? Do not ever touch the end. Um, and what we're going to be doing is you're going to be using one stick. You're only allowed one stick. If you don't use it all, it's fine. If you need more, that's tough. Um, so it's only one stick, okay? So as we know, we put the other end. Okay, this one's actually not through. And this paper is parchment paper, and the hot glue actually doesn't stick to this. So um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So a stencil is pretty much like an outline of something. And when we create our stencil, you're only going to be creating on this side right here. And you want to make sure that things are connected. Like you don't want pieces that are just kind of like flying out because it, it won't be as sturdy. Okay, so I'm going to um, start creating something here. Now this is... Uh, kind of like a process. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that dry for just a little bit. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it over. We wanna flatten it. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a book over it, okay, just to flatten it out and it's gonna cool down. Okay, it's not something where you wanna just kind of make it like, you know, fluffy. Um, actually, so that should be okay. All right, if it's warm, try again. So what happens is when we put hot glue down, okay, it bubbles up, it kind of rounds out. And what we want to do is we want our, our actual stencil to be flat, okay? So that should be okay. See, flat. Now I can go back in and I will add to it. Okay. Might be able to tell. Now a good stencil will have like a lot of open like areas. And you want them to be nice and thick. Okay, so that should be enough. Take that, pass it over, put my book on it, okay? Um, and as I said, you have, uh, you know, one whole stick, which is pretty cool. That's pretty, quite a bit of, a lot of uh, glue in order to use, all right? And you don't want to glue it all at the same time. So I'm gonna see how this works. Not so hot. Pretty cool, right? Now you're gonna get some of these strings, you can take them off, okay? Now let's say I might want to add to it. I notice that I am attaching everything. There we go, one more. There we go. Flip it over. Add my book. Okay. And if you ever find that something is too thin, you can easily go back in and, you know, add some more glue to it. Alright. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. Not bad. Alright. Obviously, I waited a little too long for some of this. Now you see that this one is not connected. So I'm going to go back in and fill this one right in. This looked a little thin, so I'm going to add a little bit more there. Um, I want this part to be a little bit thicker, so it feels more like a, ooh, add that there. There we go. All right, add that there. Squish it down, nice and good and tough. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, there's a lot of waiting. Now what I would definitely do before you start doing your your stencil is create a design so you kind of know what you're going to look for. You don't want something that's really detailed. Um, you can make something big on this little space, absolutely fine. But remember, you only have one glue stick. That's it, okay? All right, let's see. Ooh, that's good. Hi. And that's it. There's your stencil. Just pick off these little things and you're good to go.